What's up guys, it's Julia. Today we're gonna do some Algebra 2 Regents review. We're gonna try, I, well, I'm gonna try to do this really fast because I noticed with all my other videos, there's like seven minutes, eight minutes long, and that's too long, okay? So, number one, express negative one plus i um to the power of three in a plus bi form okay so it's gonna show at least one middle step then use the calc okay so let's just write negative one plus i times negative one plus i and my negative one plus i and then we can use our calc on this so if we do some parentheses right here negative one plus i Let's just put this to the third power. We are given two plus two i. Our calculator is so smart, it already gives us like the a plus b i form. So I'm just gonna say that this equals well, two plus two i. And that's our answer. Next question. Um, oh, whoops. Factor the following completely. Okay. So for a, we can just use some um, let's just factor this x out you have x squared plus okay so we still have some more factoring to go so if we use you know that amazing ac or easy method seven times x um we get seven so seven times one seven plus one gives us eight so you know we have now let's put that x let's put this x on the side right over here so um, we have x plus 7 times x plus 1 gives us that. Next, we're going to do some amazing, you know, more factoring, I guess you could say. Sorry, I keep rambling. We have x2, x2, and just what gives us, you know, um, 4 and 3, um, they multiply to 12. So, in order to get negative 1x, we can do negative 4 plus 3. But then negative 4 can go down more. So, x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x squared plus 3. Always circle your answers, guys. It's a lot easier for the grader to read. Next, we're going to do some grouping. Grouping is really fun. So you see these x's? We're going to do x squared because they both have x squared in common. x minus 2. And we're going to do um, minus 9 times x minus 2. And you see these two are the same. That means we're in a pretty good place. So we're just going to put this together. x squared minus 9 times x minus 2. But oh wait guys, that x squared minus 9, that can go a little farther down. So we're just going to show that this can be x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 and bada bing bada boom we're done with this problem number three algebraically determine h negative 1x given the function h of x equals the square root of x plus 4 and then minus 3 so this is the inverse function so in order to uh, make find the inverse function of this we're going to switch our y equals x plus 4 minus y to um x equals the square root of y plus 4 minus 3. So we're going to add 3 on both sides. Now let's get rid of the square root by squaring this. And we have y plus 4. Now let's bring that 4 onto the other side. Gives us y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. And beautifully done. Number four, rewrite the equation 3x squared plus 24x 
plus 3y minus 18y equals negative 59 in center radius form. Okay, so when we're talking about center radius form, we're going to divide by 3, which is the, I guess you can say, the greatest common factor of all of it. So let's do that. We're left with um, square root. That's 8x plus y squared. 6y. Okay. So now we're going to put our x's together. X's are beautifully together. But the most interesting thing about this is if we're going to do the b divided by 2 squared. So b here is going to be 8. So 8 divided by 2 squared, we get 4 squared plus y squared minus 6y plus I mean, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 squared. And this will equal negative 59. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. Negative 59 over 3 plus 4 squared and plus negative 3 squared. Okay. Easy thing about this is once you see x and 4 together, you just bring that stuff down to x plus 4 squared. And then you have just bring that stuff to down. And then you have y minus 3 squared. And for this part, just use your calc. And by using your calc, you get 16 over 3. And voila, you are done. You are in center radius form. Beautiful job.